Hello everybody, this is Pond the Frugal Streamer and I wanted to show you something a lot of people have been asking me and that is using uh, custom text labels and updating with like followers, subscribers, that sort of thing and this is something that will replace the Streamlabs Stream Labels app that you were, that many people have been using to get their uh, custom labels. This is now built into Chatbot, so I want to show you that. Uh, so if you bring up Chatbot, let me close Spotify. Let me bring Spotify down here. If you were to go, let me bring this over so you can see it. And go up to the upper right hand corner. There's a question mark. If you click on that question mark, go down to Open Install Directory. Okay, and then go to Twitch then files and here are all the labels that chatbot now has that you can use for games or hosts for subscribers for follows for current songs uh you know people who have requested you know all that stuff is now available inside of chatbot okay so what i've done is i've made a, a quick sh shortcut right here okay that's the same thing that's the files just so it's easier for me because it's Sometimes it's hard to find those files in app data because it's hidden, you know, hidden folders. So I would recommend making a quick um, shortcut on your desktop when you're going to be doing this and making your labels and everything because this will just make it a lot easier inside OBS. All right, so now let's go ahead and bring OBS down here and I'm going to show you what I've done. I mean, first of all, let me transition this back over. All right, so what I've got here is I have um a current song list or current song playing in this upper left hand corner right here okay so what i've done is i've gone in and added a uh text file okay so how do you do that all right well it's pretty simple all right so all you need to do is go down to the upper left hand corner and go to text gdi plus and I will go ahead and add, let's see, add current song. All right, so that's it. It's a label right there. So what it is, is this UI, okay, shows up. You have a uh, area where you can select the type of font you want, okay. So I will go and I'll actually change it. Let's change it to what I use. And this is where you want to do this. So first of all, you want to make sure read for file is highlighted or selected. And then hit browse here. And then you're going to go find the text file. Okay. Now I'm currently using current song. Now let me explain you something now. Down here you have Spotify song. Here you have current song. Okay. Current song is used when you have song requests enabled inside a chat bot and you have a playlist there and people are requesting songs. That's where this is going to get updated. Spotify song, if you remember, you can connect Spotify directly to your chat bot. If you have song requests turned off and you're just playing songs off Spotify, this will be the file that you need. Okay, so what I've done is I have actually made this right here. So there it is. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and switch it back over to this one so you can actually see it better. All right, so I have a song, song playlist built inside of Spotify right now, or inside of uh, Chatbot, I'm sorry. And if you want to see it, I can see. Yeah. Let me bring the other screen back up just so you can see it real quick. So this is the current playlist. And this is the, uh, right now it says, Lee, what is it, Lee and Han, where do I go original mixes playing, which you can now see right there is also the text file. And so if I were just to fast forward this, it should update. So there you go. And that's it. Now I can also go in. <coughs> uh, let's see, request a song. Now I've already requested this song. I'm going to do this actually. Let's not do that. Let's find a song because I don't want to get demonetized and get hit for copyright. So let's go to YouTube. And we'll find, let's see, let's find Bass Rebels. Songs I usually play on my stuff here. All right, so we'll use this song right here. Let's go ahead and we'll play. I'm going to add. Right, so I'll copy, in the, copy that. 
link and then let's go down here do that smash point sr and go bloop. all right so now i have added this song to the queue all right so now if i fast forward it should play that song in the queue and the little text file should update it does right there so you can see it's not only spotify but it is also youtube song okay so that's that's pretty cool to do that now that's just showing you one instance of what you can actually do with this okay so it's pretty cool uh i would recommend you going in like i said before make that a desktop uh shortcut when you're building your scenes and overlays for those custom labels and uh you can easily access it do what you need uh, but hey it gets rid of you having to run stream lab stream labels now because now you have those text files being generated in chatbot so it's one less app you have to run and that's kind of what the goal of uh stream labs here is what they're trying to do is trying to make everything um efficient optimized and they're trying to keep you from running all these kind of crazy apps that you need so they're trying to incorporate everything as much as they can and i imagine eventually we'll probably see chatbot as a part of you know streamlabs obs i'm just thinking that but you know you never know but as it is all you really need now is you know if you run obs studio and or streamlabs obs and streamlabs chatbot and that will generate all your follow alerts follow labels and everything like that for custom stuff okay if you use a custom uh overlay where you're going to need browser source and you're using like uh, player.me which used to be strax on tv um you know then you can use something like that but it just gives you options i recommend you going out there and trying out this new way of doing um labels instead of using the uh stream labels app uh you know it's just as easy to do same way to set up and it's just one less thing that you have to run on your pc all right guys this is punter frugal streamer i hope you have a great week thank you guys for being patient as i have not uh, released any videos this past week because i have been sick and as you can tell i'm still recovering my voice is cracky and all that good stuff and i got the snivels everything else that i'm you know you start having to deal with recovering from flu and cold but guys i do appreciate it thank you for the continued support be good out there be safe and i uh, will see you out there this is pun frugal streamer signing off bye bye